guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with a super exciting video, which hopefully you guys are as pumped as I am and think you're going to be. So this video is going to be how I edit my Instagram photos, which is a super highly requested video. I cannot tell you how many people ask me what filter I use on my photos. So, can you see Peony in the background? I mean, she's super blurred out, but she's there. <laughs> so today, guys, that have been waiting for this. First of all, thank you so much for everyone that's been waiting for a long time, because I know some of you have been waiting like hella time, like well over a year. I'm super slow at this kind of thing. But today is the day that I'm going to show you how I edit my Instagram photos and, drum roll please, my presets are here. And we're ready to shop right now. I'm so proud of myself. Woo! <laughs> um, so yeah, they're here. They're ready to go for you right now. But don't go, well, you can go buy them right now if you want. But, watch this video first. Oh, what little twist my eye. <laughs> okay, so I'm first of all gonna just show you how I edit my photos right now. The presets available come in three packs, but I'm just gonna show you quickly now my most used preset filter. A preset is a filter, by the way. It's just a filter that you can adjust a lot. So it's like a versatile filter because you can adjust it a lot. I'm going to show you the one I use the most. So I'm going to show you exactly how I edit my photos right now. Okay, so I'm going to record my phone screen and put it next to me here. So you can see the filter I use most at the moment because it does change depending on where I am, location, just the vibe I'm feeling at the time, seasons. In the summer I do use a different filter usually. Um, okay, so recording phone screen. So obviously I have a photo and what I will usually do is our obviously favourite photos I like, which you can see in here, my favourite folder. I do then quite often take them into Facetune or Photoshop. Not every single time, it really depends on the photo. But if there's anything that needs adjusting, as in taking out a spot, smoothing your skin, maybe sharpening your eyes a bit, then I will do that first. Um, I do have a separate video all about that, but it is very straightforward and I feel like that part of it is very personal to you and what you want to do to your photos in that sense, whether you want to smooth your face a lot or not at all, whether you want to remove spots, you're happy just to let them shine through. So I feel like that's personal. There's nothing I do in Facetune that changes the way the photo filter works. I don't white in the background, I don't do anything like that at all. So, I will open Lightroom. If you don't have Lightroom, that is the app you're going to need to use the, the presets. Um, it looks like this, I didn't even show you. This is what it looks like, this one right here. It is free to download in the App Store. So you open it, and we go to Add Photo from Camera Roll. So you add photos, so this is the original photo. The preset I use right now, is this is my presets you can see it says Tashi's presets I have three packs we have Mykonos obviously we have Soho and we have Noir Blanc which is a black and white filter collection so the one I use right now and is on my feed right now is Soho number four this one so I click that and as you can recognize that is my filter Ta -da! so that's how easy it is to do Click on, it's done. Obviously these presets I've made, so I've obviously made them for me, and like my skin tone, my hair color, my outfit colors that I wear majority of. The great thing about presets though is they're super adjustable. So if you're blonde, you might wanna just change it slightly. If you're fairer than me, you might want to edit the skin tone slightly, or if you're darker than me, you might want to edit the skin tone slightly. It is as universal as I could make it, but I still think some of you are going to want to make adjustments for sure, especially for selfies and close-up pictures. Um, but I do go into that later, and if you do choose to buy them, then I actually have a dedicated video, which you'll get once you once you buy them, you'll get the, the link to obviously have them. And in there, there's also a video of me telling you exactly how to use them. So don't worry if you're like, oh my god, I don't know how to do that. 
So that is it. So that is my filter before and after. And that's how quick it is for me to edit my pictures right now. I'll just show you on some other examples. Okay, so this one I put up the other day. Okay, so this was the original picture. And again, I used Soho 4, which is this one. And then it goes like this. And this is the picture I put up. All I do from here is just put my cross on it, which obviously you guys won't need to do. Once you've done that, you just literally save, export to camera roll, export to camera roll, and you're good to go. You're ready to post. Super easy. For selfies, I have been using, so that's the original photo. So for the Mykonos and the Soho filter pack, I actually have dedicated filters for selfies. You can use them for any picture, obviously. You can use them however you wish. But I say that they are dedicated to selfies purely because they are just less harsh. They're a much softer filter. And it's just, I've never seen anyone else do this. I think it's pretty magical, to be honest. Basically, what I've done is I've taken the tones from the filter that I use all the time and I've just made it into like almost like a half strength preset. You know, like, for example, you know, when you put a filter on on an app, you usually can have you have like an adjuster, like say on Visco Cam, you have you can put the filter on and then you can adjust the strength. Basically, what I've done is the filter for the selfies, which is 4.5 in both packs, is half strength. As the full one. Does that make sense? Hopefully. So for example, this one, those are my presets, and I believe I used the 4.5, I used the Soho 4.5 for this one. Because my feed right now is Soho 4 majority, I used the 4.5, as you can see there, as the for the selfie. 4 would look like this. Actually, you know what? I think I used 4 for this one. Yeah, I think I did use that, but I could have used this. But I think I did use that one. Um, I'll show you on another one as well. Hold on. For my, this, this one. Let me just put it back to the original. Hold on. Okay, so that's the original. And then this is 4.5. So you can see it's the same tones as 4. But it's just slightly less. 4, 4.5. It just makes it not look so harsh. Especially if you're taking like a clear. Let me see if I can find one. Hold on. And then if we go to 4.5, it's just softer than 4. 4 still looks decent. It just depends on what's your vibe and what you feel like. Um, but those are the two that I use the most right now, 4 and 4.5. Um, but I do, I do change it up to different ones. They're all different filters, so I do switch it up. So that is how I edit my pictures right now. But I'm just going to quickly show you a little promo video I made because would this be a Tashi video? I haven't made an aesthetic promo video. <laughs> so I'm just going to run that promo. Is that what we call it? I don't know. I'm just going to run that video now so you can watch it and just see a bit more detail on what I'm about to talk about. Well, well, welcome to the 24th floor.
24th floor. Available now. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that little promo video and it kind of just gave you an insight into it because it had some filters going on to the video. All The whole video had filters on it, all, di if all different ones for different places because it really depends on where I am and what I'm shooting to what filter I use, whether it's summary, I will use a lot of Mykonos. I'll still use some Soho, but a lot of Mykonos. Um, if it's more street edgy, I'll definitely be using Soho or the Noir Blanc one. I tend to use one from the Noir Blanc probably like every fourth or fifth photo because I just personally really like having a black and white one. You know I love black and white photos to break up the feed. I think it looks sick, so that's why I did that filter. It's actually really hard to find a good black and white filter. And it's probably the ones that took me the longest to really hone in and like make exactly how I wanted them. So I'm just going to run you through each one. So the first pack we have is the Mykonos pack. So I basically here, you can see on the screen here, I basically made a grid, not a grid, like a feed. So you can see this is like a feed for an example feed. Obviously they're my pictures because I can't use anyone else's pictures. But this is an example feed and this is with no filters. So this right here you see is obviously just every single photo without any filter on it at all. So this is Mykonos pack. Ta -da! So the Mykonos pack, you're gonna get a lot of muted skies, like more skies that are bluey gray. Um, you're gonna get light and bright photos. You're gonna get sort of creamy whites rather than like bright whites and a lot of nude tones and real summer vibes. So I'm gonna just show you the Mykonos photo, um, the Mykonos photo, the Mykonos filters. Maybe find an appropriate Mykonos. Okay, I'm gonna show you on this one because I feel like this is a real iconic Tashi Mykonos picture. So this is the original, and then I'm gonna just take you through the Mykonos pack because there is six in each pack, but Mykonos one. One click, that is the filter, that is what you've got. Obviously, if you do want, if you don't like muted skies, and you want them to be brighter, it's very easy to change. This will be in the how-to video after you've purchased them, but just for example, you bring the saturation up, then bam, you've got blue skies. So don't worry if you're like, mm, I do really like that, but I really don't want muted sky, like I really love blue, I want blue in my pictures. You can just change it so easily. Um, let me just put that back, okay. So Mykonos 1. Mykonos 2 is a lot darker and it's more like edgy. It's more like a summer edgy vibe and a little bit more of a vintage feel. And then we've got Mykonos 3, which is for definitely for people who prefer a more almost faded, bright, summery feel. I feel like when you use this as a whole filter on the page, it is very vintage, but fade. I don't know how to explain it. You can see. You can see the before and after here. And then we have four. I feel like four is almost a bit more natural. It's got stronger contrast, as you can see in the blacks. And I'd say this is more, slightly more of a natural filter. Like the colors aren't manipulated too much. And then we've got 4.5, which I actually use for selfies for summer pictures. And then we have five. Five, I love five. Five is so nice. Um, okay, and then moving on to the Noir Blanc. This is no filter. Penis snoring, and this is with a black and white filter on it. Obviously, I personally would use this for my whole feed, you know that, but some people might like to, so just to give an example of what it might look like. But I'm just gonna take you through some examples of the filters in that category. Okay, so here's the original photo, and then we're gonna go Noir Blanc 1. Noir Blanc One's a really sick black and white filter. It's like, um, quite different. It's like really unique. I really like the faded, kind of high, con low contrast. This is two, love two. This is three, such a vibe. This is four, this is five, and this is six. I think I use six and four the most. Was it three? No, six and four I use the most. Uh, oh, and two. <laughs> I just used them all, I just spat. Did you see that excitement? <laughs> Okay, and then let's move into Soho. So this is before, this is after. This is the Soho pack. So we have brown tones, which is the ones that you guys have always been asking for, the real brown toes. 
toes, not just dolls, toes. And we've got like darker gray muted skies. It's a real edgy kind of street style vibe. It is desaturated and it's very like moody cool, you know? Um, so I will show you some examples on this picture. Let me just reset the settings. Okay, so here's the original photo. And then we go down to Soho. We've got Soho One. Soho One's really cool. Soho One is quite unique and it's different, definitely different to the rest in the pack. This one isn't brown tones. This one's more like, as you can see, it's like, almost like it's been taken on a disposable camera. It's like that real vintage camera vibes. Can you see like the tones? It just looks like it's been taken on a camera. Soho Two, oh, I love Soho Two. Soho Two is actually the one I used all the time for a long time on my feed before I recently moved into four. So I use this one a lot. Soho Three is, why do I keep spitting? Soho Three is much brighter. So if you are that kind of person that really likes your whites to be quite white and your whole feed to look really bright, then Soho Three is for you. As you can see, the whites in here compared to the whites in two, like the whites in two are almost gray, where the whites in three are bright and white. Soho 4 is the one I use at the moment. You can probably tell straight away this is the one I use. When I look at that, it just looks like my feed right now because that's the one I use. Oops. Then we have Soho 4.5, which I said is for, more for selfies, but you could use it for this image because as you can see from 4 to 4.5, it's the same tones, but it's just a bit brighter and less of it. It's softer. And then Soho 5. And then Soho 5 is another one that's much softer, but I really love it. It's a really nice filter and it is more subtle. So if you don't want crazy filters, then definitely 4.5 and 5 in Soho and Mykonos are more suited to you. So that is the Soho pack. Whew, wow, I feel like I've been speaking for so long. <laughs> so that's how I edit my photos. That is all the packs you're going to get. So the website that these are available on, I have decided to call, I've kind of almost branded a whole new brand for this and also for some future stuff that might be happening. Um, the website is called The 24th Floor. If you're new here, then you'll be like, I don't understand. But if you're not new here, you know that 24 is my number. 24 is just everything. Everything I have is 24. We have 24 inspo. If you don't know, I have another account called 24 Inspo, which is dedicated to Inspo filler photos. I'll leave it on the screen right here. Here. Um, 24 is just my number. It's everything. Everything's always 24. Hence why this video and the release is on the 24th of the 4th, 2020. 20 plus 4 is 24. It's the 24th and it's 24. It's 24. Um, so the website is the 24th floor. I really do love the name. And I hope you do too. I wanted to just keep it a little bit more separate because I really wanted to use it as something that I can grow my whole brand on eventually into the other things that I have planned. Um, so it's 24thfloor.com. I will obviously leave everything in the description bar down below so you can go check them out right now. Um, what else do I need to say? Yeah, so when you purchase the filters, you do have a choice of purchasing each pack individually so you can get the Mykonos on its own. You can get the Soho on its own and you can get the Noir Blanc on its own or you can choose to buy a bundle and get all of them together which obviously you get cheaper if you buy it all together. Once you've purchased the packs you'll basically just get an email and it will say like thank you for your purchase <laughs> and then you'll get another email which will have your download links in it. It's super easy to do but I do have a PDF written up with full ex like how to explain how to do it and I've also got a video that will go with your email with your download link of me like this talking you through exactly how to install these to your phones or your iPads wherever you're using them on so you can get ready to go it, it would probably take you maybe 10 minutes to do depending on which pack you buy if you buy one pack it'll probably take 10 minutes if you buy all packs it might take 15 minutes because once you've got the hang of it it's really quick it is super easy to do um, and as I said you will need the Lightroom app to be able to use them that is free but you will need it to use these filters you can use the filters on desktop or on mobile either one is fine all the photos i take are on my iphone so 
you don't you will get the exact same results that I've got like it's not that I've used really great photographers all my photos are taken either by myself like I take my own photos or by my mum or by my boyfriend so it's not like I've got some professional photographer taking these pictures making them look really sick like this is just me Tashi hi nice to meet you <laughs> taking them on my phone and then applying my preset that I made it's that easy I will be posting, even though 24 Inspo is obviously a page that I use for posting filler photos for you guys, it's Inspo that you can use. I will be using it a lot for showing you different presets on there and obviously the website link will be on there and any updates and stuff will be on there as well as on my own page but there'll be way more on 24 Inspo of like befores and afters. I'll make sure to put on each photo what filter I've used so like stay tuned for that I'll just put like in brackets at the bottom like used Soho 2 or use Mykonos 1 because then you'll know if you like the look of it in that picture you'll be like ah oh, oh maybe I should try that one just so you can like follow along with what I'm doing so you know what I'm doing obviously it would be great if you do use my presets that you tag them so i can see which ones you're using and see your pictures and we post them on my page so just let me know like in the caption or something which like put hashtag tashi's presets and then put whatever you've used whether it's megan Us 4 or it's noir blank 3 like whichever one you've used just put it in so i can repost it and share it and show like other people the results you can get from using them um, I think we're going to go with hashtag Tashi's presets, right? Or should we go 24 4 presets? Yeah, let's go Tashi's presets. But also do tag me, obviously, in anything you use, because I want to see them. So I think that is everything for this video. I feel like it is, but I'm nervous that I've forgotten something. I've never really filmed a video like this before, and I was a little bit nervous to film it, even though it's just like a standard how I edit my pictures video. I feel like because a lot of you guys have been waiting so long for this release, I am just trying to get it right. And now I don't know if I've forgotten something. Oh, one more thing that I forgot to mention is just something really little. Cool. When you, if you, when you, whenever purchase the presets, then obviously you get the email download confirmation and download links. If you don't see them straight away, then check your junk folder because a lot of them do go into the junk folder. I've tried to find a way not to, but they just do. Not all of them, but they do quite often. So thank you to everyone that's been waiting so long. I'm so sorry it's taken me this long. <laughs> Oops. I will be doing maybe some giveaways along the way where you can win packs. I think that'd be quite cool, right? To do like some cute giveaways. Um, and yeah, thank you in advance. If you do purchase the presets, because it's something I've been working on, as you know, for so long. And it would really mean the world to me to see you using them. And um, stuff like that just makes me super happy. <laughs> Even when I do like stupid videos on how to do like the most stupid thing, like add glitter here. And then when you guys send me all your pictures, it just makes me so happy. I just love, I just love seeing your guys' pictures. <laughs> so that's everything. I think. <laughs> Everything will be listed in the description of my I'm super excited. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything for this video guys. I really hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.